everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do another GeoGebra tutorial video. So when you go to geogebra.org slash geometry, this is the screen that it takes you to. If you can see on my left hand side, I have a bunch of basic tools. If you need a little refresher on how to use those, I will link my other YouTube video here um, and that goes over all the basic tools as well as how to relabel things in GeoGebra and how to change colors um, and the style of your different objects that you plot in your plane. Okay, so for today's video we're going to click more with all of these different tools um, and the ones we're going to be focusing on today are the transform tools. So we're going to do translate by a vector, rotate around a point, and reflect about a line. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is plot a couple of things. I'm going to plot a polygon um, as well as a line. So let me go up to my line tool. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out just slightly. Okay, so if I scroll down and click on my translate by vector tool, this is how I'm going to actually move a shape that I want to move. Um, so whenever you translate something, what you're doing is you're sliding it around your plane. So it's moving up, down, left, right. It's not changing orientation and it's not changing size or shape. So you click on your translate by vector tool. You click on the figure you'd like to translate. It should highlight like this. And then you give it a vector. And a vector is, some, is basically like an arrow that's telling your shape how far you want to move it and in which, which direction. So I'm going to click on this point C and have, see it forms an arrow. I could tell it how far I want it to move and in which direction. So I'm going to choose something like this and it will move your entire shape along that vector. See how it moved point C to C prime. I'm going to zoom in just slightly so you can see that a little better. Oh, a little bit more out. Um, it moved C to C prime. We use prime notation, um, which tells us that ABC was our original triangle, but A prime, B prime, C prime is our new triangle after we translated it. Um, another way that you could say that is ABC is your pre-image, and A prime, B prime, C prime is your image. Now, you have to be really careful with your translate tool. I was able to translate the whole shape. But an error I see a lot of my students make and they get really frustrated is they'll accidentally click on this. And if you can see, that just highlighted this segment. Now if I use my vector tool, let me just backspace, whoops, didn't want to get rid of that. Let me try that again. Translate by vector, click, and it, see how it just highlights the segment? Well, if I try to now move that segment, been having problems with this for some reason. Okay, and that just moved a point. Okay, so that's kind of the point I was trying to make. That just moved the point down, but now it's acting up. So let's try this again. Okay, if I just click on this point, see how it just highlighted BC? Now I can move BC by a vector. Let's say I want to move it like that. Well, it moved BC by this vector let me show you just for a second because you don't need to put the vector on the shape itself. See how it still moved each point on this line by the same distance I wanted and the same length that I wanted. So you don't have to actually move it on the line or on the figure itself, right? You can put your vector wherever you want it. Um, but it moved just the line segment, not the whole figure. So you have to be really careful when you use that tool to not um, click on individual parts of the figure that you want to move. Um, click on the figure as a whole so it highlights the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to back up a little bit and clean this up so that you can see my next tool that I'm going to demonstrate. Um, the next one is rotating around a point, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I have a little bit more room. So you click on rotate about uh, around a point. And the first thing you want to do is select the object, make sure it's the full object that's lit, uh, highlighted or lit up before you actually do it. Then you want to click on a point that you want to rotate it about. So let's say I want to rotate it about 
point E. That means that's my center of where I'm turning my, um, my figure around. Then I need to tell it, well, how many degrees rotation do I want it to do? So let's say I want to do 90 degrees, which is a right angle, 90 degrees, and I want to go clockwise. So you have to specify whenever you're rotating a figure, you have to tell me what you're rotating, you have to tell me the point of rotation, the angle measure that you're going to use to rotate, I need to know how far to rotate, and then also whether you want it rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. There is a lot of information that goes into rotating. So you press OK, and then it will rotate for you. Um, so let's say instead I want to do 180 degrees, so I click my figure again, and then I click point E, and I say I want to now do 180, um, and then it will do 180. Okay. All right, so rotate tool, that one's pretty um, straightforward. I'm going to go back a little bit. Okay, the next tool we're going to go over is reflect about a line. So you click on that tool. Then you click on the figure you're going to reflect. Then you click on the line that you want it to reflect over, and it will do it automatically. Um, now, you sometimes will have to plot a line, too, um, before you do it, which is why I did that in the first step. Um, but for this one, it requires the figure and a line to reflect. Sometimes you're given an activity where there's already a line, um, and that's great, so you just use that. Um, but to use that tool, it is required that you have a line. Um, we're not going to use this reflect about a point class, uh, sorry, the reflect about a point tool in my class um, because it's not something that we would traditionally do on um, pencil paper for um, our transformations. Um, and then this dilate tool, we're going to save that for another time because we're not quite ready for that yet. We're just sticking to our rigid transformations. Okay, and that is all for this video.